Good day and welcome to the next installment in the Super Dota Science YouTube channel. Uh, today we are looking at a, the um, chart called a butterfly chart, also referred to a tornado chart or diverging bar chart or even a pyramid chart. We will be building a butterfly chart today. Welcome, I hope you'll enjoy the tutorial and please stick around until the end because we will show you a very neat trick um, how to use the labels within this chart. Alright, so the butterfly chart, what is it? Well, as you know, this it goes by a couple of names, but it's excellent to use when um, you are using two associated measures or comparing two associated measures side by side. We'll have a look at our own example. Uh, we will be looking actually at data from the World Bank. And this file, as always, is available on the Super Data Science website. You can find the link below. And the data we've got is for some countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. And you can see it's the adult literacy rate for females and males separately um, above 15 years of age. All right, let's jump in and build this chart. So we start off with a fresh instance of Tableau and we'll open the Excel file or use the Excel file, open that and map it to our Tableau worksheet and the data imports correctly and then we can just continue directly over to the sheet. We start off by taking country and putting that into the rows and also taking each of the male and female literacy figures and putting them as the columns. To put the labels, we will also create a new calculated field called zero axes as an example and we'll just give it a value of zero in this case. Next, we actually put on the, um, well, for the zero axis, we have to put it onto the chart. We can just put it in the middle because we'll put the, the names in the middle. And we'll just use, well, firstly, make sure that we select the um, correct chart in the middle here, the zero axis, and put the country names on top of the label, and they display properly like that. At the same time, we can actually hide the header over here, seeing as we've already got the names in there. Um, but we'll also just need to change this to a text chart, removing the actual bar chart. Now to change the chart around and make it look like a butterfly chart or a, yeah, a diverging bar chart, we just have to work on the axis a little bit. So for the left one, we will just change it to reversed and we can hit OK. And you can see already it is changing shape quite nicely. I will just change this to use the entire view that we've, or the entire space that we've got on our screen. As we know, we are working with different genders. We can also fix the color. So we'll firstly start off with the female side. Let me just, let's just double check this is female, yes. Start off with the female side and we can actually give it a pinkish color. I think that works nicely. And the same, well, for the, the male, we'll keep it blue. Quite intuitive, male and female. What we also can do is just to change the descriptions. Uh, we already know it is male and female, but um, we can just keep it also um, in the description and call this female and the percentage. And at the same time, take away the actual um, marks um, that, to clean our chart up a little bit. And we can just choose none. And we'll do the same for the male side as well. Um, we'll put in the percentage a bit later into the tooltip, um, but for now we will just keep it like this. Uh, and don't forget to actually take off the tick marks for male as well. There we are. So we can also just clean up the lines a little bit. So if we just go into the all um, marks, we can, sorry, um, if, if we go into the format side actually, and we can just go to these um, columns, oh, sorry, the sheet, and just tick, untick all of this to none, just making sure it removes all traces of those lines. And the same with the actual lines here as well. This is quite a tedious process always, but quickly to run through and just tidy it up. Now, for some reason, we still have some in there. Let's just quickly see rows, columns. They have all disappeared. Let's just double check we're actually working with the right, uh, the right actual chart. Yeah, okay, well, somehow it is still sticking around, but let's see if we also change it from the other side and we just make sure none of these have any lines in them Oh, there's one more. So we can just untick that and it actually removed it for both of them. Um, and for the labels, we can also just uh, make this, if we go into the text, just make sure we make this a bit of a bold. Oh, oh, there we go, sorry. Uh, we can just control A and make this bold. Um, and there are our country names. 
So there we go, that's quite nice and intuitive. So you, we can see, um, oh, hold on, we've got one more here which we need to fix up. So uh, we can just edit the access once again, and for the tick marks, make it none, and going back and also just removing the description there as we don't need it. So we've got our countries, we've got each of the actual um, bars in here, and oh, let's fix up our header over here. We can just call this the adult literacy, literacy rate. And let's make it bold, and that is our chart. We mentioned we'll fix up the tooltip, so let's quickly fix that up as well. Um, in this case, what we'll do, we'll just remove most of the information that we don't need in here, such as this. And, oh, my bad, let's quickly take that off. Uh, make this nice and big, make it a nice color that stands out a little bit. In this case, we can just use the brown. And we can just write female percentage as well as the male percentage. And just remove that zero axis, we don't need that in there. We also just untick normally the um, command buttons as they don't need to work with this. And we can do a quick preview and that looks great. So we can see for Malawi what the female percentage is, for, Mal for Malawi or Mali even what the male or female percentage is. And that looks great. And as you can see, it's got the imprint of a butterfly's wings for this. And that's why it's also sometimes referred to as a butterfly chart. Now, as I promised, we'll also be um, working on um, incorporating and making this chart look a bit better, but incorporating the actual labels. And this is quite easily done as well. By this, we will just be adding in, um, we'll, we will be creating a dual axis. But, uh, in, but firstly, actually, just, just double check the um, type, because this is actually a whole number, and these are ah, decimals. So the zero axis will just change to decimal because we wouldn't be able to synchronize the accesses if this, those data types differ. So let's start off by making this a dual access. Yeah, don't worry, the chart will change. It will look slightly different. We can actually just go and change it back. So if we go on each of these, just make it a bar chart once again, and for this side also make it a bar chart. We'll fix up the colors and so forth in a, in a, in a second. But for now, this is what we'll do. We'll also just for this uh, synchronize the access. And that obviously puts the description in um, in the middle over there. But in this case, we always just want to fix, because we don't want that white gap in the middle, we want to fix this at zero. But the end could be automatic based on the rest and how it is drawn. And you'll notice that now it actually cuts off half of it. We can just uh, once again hide the header over there. We don't need to see that. All right, as you can see, it cuts off halfway, but guess what? We can quite easily just put the other side onto it as well. So, um, you know what? Let's actually just fix up the colors because this is looking a bit confusing. Um, our first one is, if I remember correctly, is our female side. So we can change this to uh, pink. The zero axis, we actually want white. Um, let's, oh, my bad. Let's quickly just change this to white. Let's just find the white first, because we actually want the text to be white and adult literacy for female to be blue, uh, pink. There we go. So let's fix up the male side. We can um, put in the text name as well by just um, you know making a copy of this zero axis and putting it next to the male side and going through the same process by selecting dual axis, selecting synchronized axis, and also changing this into a start of zero and an automatic end and that would put it down properly and again now we can just fix the colors so for male we obviously want a blue and as we said for the zero axis we'll just choose a white if you're, you're using windows this might look be looking slightly different but you can just look for white and apply all right um for the second zero axis i see this made it automatic we'll just change that to text and voila well almost voila <laughs> we can see that um, there is some sort of text happening in there and we just actually need, still need to place the country name onto the text over there on the zero axis and now it is displayed properly. Let's go and hide our actual um, headers again because we don't need to see these and there is our chart. You know what actually, um, let's quickly go and change also uh, the size of our label just to make it stand out a little bit more. We'll just make this an 11, and we will just remember to do it on both sides. 
Um, we always need to make sure they are aligned. So we'll just make this 11 as well. There we go, and that looks quite great, I think, if we move this out of the way. Um, our labels are properly embedded, and as you can see now, our tooltips are also updated um, with the correct uh, female side as well as the male side. And that is our butterfly chart. So um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned quite a bit. Um, I hope that you will apply this in your own work as well, because I think this is an excellent chart and uh, be able to play around with this a bit more. Feel free to drop the comments below um, in, in the section. See, let, us, let us know what you think and look out for some further tutorials on the Super Data Science YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe as there are some more coming up. All right, that's it for today. Um, go and practice and speak to you next time.